Phil Miller. I believe right now for cover. support. Give him fun. Give him fun. <laughs> well, a, a fight worthy enough for the winner to get the Marvin Hagler Trophy. That's oh. for sure. Well, what a what a great night Where's to present it because. <laughs> What a, what a great debut for your trophy, Marvels, and hopefully every other middleweight after this can live up to this trophy in this type of fight. All right, Mar Marvelous Marvin Hagler is going to head up into the ring now for that special presentation. That's Elizabeth, the young lady with spinal bifida, saying hello to another young man who is a James Tony fan back home in Michigan, Kevin, who's a paraplegic. <laughs> Anxious to see if the scorecards back up my feeling uh, about James Tony, but I think Tony pulled that fight out in those last four rounds. Here we go, beginning of the last round here. Tony with that left hook buckles yeah. yes. McCallum terribly and misses wildly, of course, with that one. And McCallum just unbelievable how he stood up to this uh, final assault by James Tony. I think Tony earned a lot of fans here tonight, Joe. You know, right McCallum hand. was the heavy favorite. And he's just really running uh, McCallum across the ring. And here we go again, that right uppercut by Tony. Mm. Bingo, left Look hook. Look at that one. Right on the nose, and uh, McCallum's mouth being open made it easy for that mouthpiece to pop out. But that hurt him again, and he followed up with another tremendous left hook. Mike McCallum is one of the toughest men I've ever seen in the ring taking those type of shots and standing up to him. All right, let's take a look at your unofficial scorecard. Sam Dinellon, how'd you score it? Well, I had Tony winning... Uh, 115, 113. Interestingly enough, what how Joe said uh, the last four rounds he gave to Tony the the 11th, I felt McCallum won. So with that uh, controversial round that I gave early on to uh, Tony, if you t if if you go with what you guys said, I actually had you know Tony in trouble here, big time in the 12th round. However, yeah. uh, you know I'm sure the scorecards are going to be pretty interesting between the judges. From 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 the standpoint of wear and tear, who had the uh, uh, who had more left towards the end, who had more power in his punches. I really felt it tip clearly towards James Tony. No question, but... A very special presentation will be made to the winner of this bout. The champion, the ultimate champion of the 80s, marvelous Marvin Hagler, will present the winner with his own personalized cup, the heavyweight of the 80s, to the heavyweight, pardon me, the middleweight of the 90s. Here is the official scoring. Gary Merritt scores the bout, 116. To 112, he has it for James Tony. Tommy Kazmarek scores the bout. 115 to 113 for Mike McCallum. Robert Cox scores the bout. 114 to 114. It's a three-way split, ladies and gentlemen. The bout is a draw. Let's hear it for both of these great fighters here tonight. Well, Cambrell Marshall shaking his head up in the post position. The title is retained by James Tony. James Tony retains the IBF middleweight title based on a draw. And quite a fluctuation. One judge with 116 to 112, a four-point split. One had a 115 to 113, two points the other way. And one had it dead even. Copy box had James Tony. Throwing fewer punches. They both landed about the same, so Tony's percentage was just a little bit higher. So based on punches landed, you can call it a draw. But I, I, I don't know. I, I gave Tony more powerful punches in there. Mike McCallum, total jabs, as we expected, more than Tony did. I, I think someone sitting in their living room right now who's not keeping score round by round is saying how and the world did James Tony not win that fight this guy was there. Right. well but the justice is he does retain his middleweight title let's go up to uh, Joe Goosen in the ring Joe all right here I am with James Tony of course you keep your middleweight title did you think that that fight was a draw no I thought I came I think I came back in later rounds and pulled it out but like I said I'm not the judge so hey I got a draw so what can I say no of course is this your toughest fight you ever had James this guy must have fight you know he's strong he's a strong old man <laughs> <Excuse me. laughs> 